Speak to me of the humble bean, of Milagro, of Jack and the stock, whose bold contribution has earned them a place in the footnote of history's crock. Recognized by poets, painters, bards, and the literary glitterati like Shakespeare, who said, a bean by any other name would still if a bean were consumed in the forest and no one heard it, would it still make a sound? One small bean for man, one giant bean burrito for mankind. Ask not what your bean can do for you, ask what you can do for your bean. Quoth the raven, refried beans, gold, frankincense, and pinto beans. A fool and his bean are soon parted. Down through the ages, the humble bean has been treated as the blue collar worker of the menu, the landscape on the plate, the flannel sheets for the plump weenie to lay its head, always there, usually unnoticed like rice in China, cows in Western movies, or duplicity in Congress. It has assumed a supporting role, never asking to carry the ball, ride trigger, get the girl, or even have a speaking part, deferring always to the filet, the fajita, or the French onion soup. Thus, to rectify this culinary snobbery, I offer my recipe for beans a la black. First, purchase one half pound dried pinto beans. Select 22 blemish-free beans, Boil till soft. Discard one bean over the left shoulder, and then string them like beads, interspersing with capers, raspberries, and pearl onions. Garnish with chili powder, lime juice, and Miracle Whip. Then dine, relax, and enjoy the postprandial 21 bean salute. Do -do 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 -do. This is Baxter Black from out there.